logging, like most of our great industries, is carried on with machines, motor-driven saws, tractors, and giant lifting cranes. But it wasn't so many years ago that each autumn found the lumberjacks, or shanty boys as they were called, working in our forests with axes and two-man saws. It was a hard life in a lumber camp, but the shanty boys were strong, and they often joked about their hardships. Oh, a shanty boy is a lucky lad, he always laughs when he is sad. So early out to work he's led, he meets himself a going to bed. Oh, the river's always froze and the fire's always damp. It's a wonderful, 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 wonderful life in a lumber camp. Oh, it gets so cold when you're cutting trees, the words you speak they often freeze to find out what you've talked about. You build a fire to thaw them out. Well, the river's always froze and the fire's always damp. Tis a wonderful, 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 wonderful life in a lumber camp. Yeah. Yes, logging was a hard life. The shanty boys had to start work at sunrise. First, men called top loaders climbed the trees the foreman had marked and trimmed off the tops. Then the cutters began notching the trunks with their axes while on the other side, lumberjacks began sawing into the thick trunks with their big two-man saws. Timber! When a tree was down, they trimmed off the branches and hitched up teams of strong horses to drag the great log to the river bank. Gee up, gee up. The log went onto a long slide that led down to the water. Then, men called drivers floated the huge logs downstream to the sawmill. Keep those logs a moving, keep those logs a moving, keep those logs a moving down to the mill. Keep pushing that PV and break up of that snag now. Keep those logs a moving down to the mill. But hard as they worked, the drivers couldn't always keep the logs moving. Sometimes a big log would catch on a rock or on the shore. The other logs would pile up against it and log jam! Then the drivers worked like demons with their long hooked poles called peavies to get the logs moving again. When the peavies couldn't pull the logs apart, they used dynamite. Downstream to the sawmill to be cut into boards. Keep those logs a moving down to the mill. Not all the trees that are cut down in our forests are sawed into boards. Some of them are ground into pulp. Some are sawed into chunks. And some are made into long poles. For there are more than 4,000 different products in which wood is used. So many things are made of wood, I can't begin the telling. Boxes and bowls and telephone poles and every sort of dwelling. Tables and chairs and railings for stairs and handles for shovels and axes. Paper for books and ladles for cooks and moldings for covering cracks. Windows and doors and flooring for floors and flagpoles that sway in the breezes. Pencils to write with, matches to light with, are made out of wood from our trees. Once about half our country was covered with forest, but today almost half of those precious forests have been destroyed. The shanty men did some of it with their axes and saws, but even more destruction has been and still is caused by fire. High up in their towers, the forest rangers keep careful watch 
Sometimes they see a little curl of smoke. Western Fire Tower to headquarters. Western Fire Tower to headquarters. Fire in Sector 3. Fire in Sector 3. A tiny fire may grow until it roars over a whole forest. Then the rangers, firemen, lumberjacks, and farmers, and anyone else who can get there to help, come racing to fight the flames. The firefighters cut fire breaks and trenches. They pump water and start backfires. They even use airplanes to drop chemicals to help put the fire out. Okay, boys, it's under control. Report to Sector 3. Under control, yes, but not before a thousand acres of white pine were burned to ashes. The logging industry with its new machines is bigger than ever today, but we have learned to take care of our forests, to plant new trees when we cut the old ones down, and the government has set aside national forest reserves where no trees at all may be cut. And each spring on Arbor Day, good citizens, both young and old, go into the woods to plant the seedlings that will grow into the forests of the future. And other lumberjacks in the great tradition of the shanty boys will continue to give the people of America the wood we need to build our country. Oh, men must be strong to live and to work with a brave lumberjack's merry band. For it takes steel and stone and timber to build up a